What's going on guys? My name is Adam and welcome back to another Forza Horizon 5 video. Today we're going to be checking out the new Cadillac limo that came to the game. Um, it's been in previous Forza Horizon games, but it's new to Forza Horizon 5 and it's going to be super, super sick to check out. If you guys didn't miss the last video on the Plymouth Fury, this thing had an absolutely insane amount of horsepower. Definitely go check out that video, I couldn't talk. And be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications, share with your friends, all that stuff to be notified about future videos such as this one. Here it is, the Cadillac Limousine from 2013 XTS, 304 horsepower, 264 foot pounds of torque, it weighs five and a half thousand pounds out of a 3.6 liter engine. It is front wheel drive, unfortunately. I mean, what do you expect? It's a freaking limousine, right? So it's gonna look long, it's gonna be super, super sick, it's gonna look amazing from the inside. We can go in the back, look at that, dude. High class and a half. Looks like there's a TV up there, maybe. I don't know if that is a TV. It might be. But look at all these controls, man. You got all the champagne glasses. Well, there's... Or actually, there's a little bit of glasses over there. There's a lot of room. You can fit a couple bodies in here. In the actual center compartment of the limo, limo, you can stick some bodies in there for real. You can't open the back end, which is unfortunate. And it doesn't look like you can open the hood either. This is what the driver of the limo sees when he hops in. Still kind of luxurious. Still looking pretty sick. You got all the wood finishing. Uh, you have your park reverse neutral drive and manual mode. It's a limo in Forza Horizon 5. All right, guys, this limo is under the super saloon category, which makes sense because it's huge. And we are going to be racing in the Bahia de Plano circuit. See what we can do in the limo. I think there might be other limos, if I'm not mistaken. Or you know what? Actually, I am the only one. And holy crap, is this thing slow? <laughs> Why are we so slow, bro? I think it is a V6 engine. It probably has a turbo in it. But it is so slow, bro. So slow indeed. So because this thing is front wheel drive, it does take corners pretty well. You know, the front end actually points in the direction you want it to go. The rear end is like kind of following along. I'm surprised we're actually gaining in position currently. Um, but aside from that, this thing seems to be doing pretty well. It's going to be a heck of a drift card though, if I'm being honest. Okay, so like I said, this thing is not fast. It's a limo. It weighs 5,500 pounds. It's super heavy. 7th place, actually I'm surprised we even passed anybody to begin with. Alright guys, here at the upgrade shop, let's see what kind of engine swaps we can do. We can do an 8.4 liter V10 and a 7.8 liter, 1750 horsepower. We have to do it. Slick race tire compound, let's make the back as fat as possible. 285s, ooh that's going to be a bit of a struggle and a half. Suspension, all the way down bro. Drift suspension even lower, but I'm going to do race suspension. Let's do full weight reduction. Minus 1,253 pounds. Absolutely insane. All right, so we're putting out 1,750 horsepower. Enough said, right? It, this thing's going to be absolutely insane. It weighs 4.3 thousand pounds. And we're at the middle of S1 class at 846. It's going to cost us 110,000 credits to buy this setup. Coming over to paint options. Stock paint options is only black. But you can also do like white, which looks... Honestly, that kind of looks like a, like a hearse. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. Ooh, honestly, like a cyan blue looking pretty sick. We'll do it like that. Starting the race in our upgraded cyan blue seat XTS, sorry, XTS limousine from Cadillac with 1750 horsepower rear wheel drive. Wheel spin and a half, man, I told you. That's a lot, a lot of wheel spin. But since it is super long, it is super stable. Like you guys have no idea. Since this thing is so long, that's why that's why this car is actually really really good at drifting is because it's so stable man third lap we're in 11th place we're at least passing a bmw currently although one thing that i have noticed is that it will not turn as good as it was in front wheel drive since now that i i've made it to rear wheel drive it won't turn as good kind of suffering but i prefer rear wheel drive uh vehicles either way so i'm okay with the you know suffering on corner ability and it's going to help us when we're drifting as well. The fact that we are rear wheel drive. And cross the line in our cyan blue 1750 horsepower uh, limousine. Which is super super cool. 11th place kind of sucks. Not going to lie. But I mean you do need to factor in the fact that we have 1750 horsepower. This thing wheel spins for days. And it's basically a drift vehicle at this point. Okay here we go in our Cadillac limousine on a drift run. See what this thing can do. See if we can bang out some points man. I'm pretty sure if you do, you know, drift suspension and all that other stuff, it'll do a lot better. But even just like how I have it here, it is so stable and easy to maneuver through corners. We're already at 90,000 uh, drift points, which is pretty good. Pretty sick. Oh, God. 
Yeah, I don't have drift suspension on, but if I did, I'm pretty sure I could hold some better angles. Doing 140, 150,000 drift points right now. 161. What is my best amount? 172. We almost beat that. Almost beat that. All right, guys. So we took this thing racing. We took this thing drifting. The next thing we have to do is a top speed run on the highway with our 1,750 horsepower limousine. So let's see what this thing can do. Wheel spin for days, first, second, and third. Oh, wow. Fourth gear, also wheel spin. Fifth gear. Wheel spins a little bit, but only on a hop. When it, Whenever it like, leaves the ground a little bit. Sixth gear. Dude, we are pulling fast. 190, 200 miles an hour in a limo. Oh, we're maxing out on gears. Hold on. Oh, we are zooming, bro. 230. This is a limousine. <laughs> if you want to be in one of the fastest limousines ever, Okay, come to Forza. I mean, because literally, 250 miles an hour in a limo, bro. We are zooming. We are going so fast. I feel like this is a bit dangerous, not going to lie. It's 250 miles an hour is dangerous in a normal car. Imagine in a limo, dude. Like, you're zooming. Your passengers behind you, they're going to be losing their mind. They're going to be like, oh, wow, look at that sign. I couldn't even read it because I'm going too fast. 254, I'm going to move the gearing a little bit more just because I want to see how fast it can go downhill all the way all the way 255 56 57 58 59 260 262 63 64 come on nope 263 seems to be how fast this thing is gonna go which is freaking insane it's a limousine guys you don't need to go this fast in a limousine I don't know who does I've never met anybody who needs to go this fast in a limo. I've never met anybody who needs to go 100 miles an hour in a limo. I mean, come on, dude. It's it's fun, all right? It's fun to play around in the game. I love it, right? But uh, in real life, I don't think this would be at all practical. 1,750 horsepower limo. This is a bomb sleeper, though. Like an absolute bomb of a sleeper. All right, so what's my final verdict? Well. I think it's a definite cop. To get this car, all you have to do is bang out 20 points on the winter season. This season, today, all you got to do is bang out 20 points. You get the Caddy Limo. Super easy to bang out. If you don't want it, you can sell it on the auction house for a couple million dollars and you can go about your day from there. Honestly, though, I do think it is worth it just to keep it and drive it around a little bit. You know, you don't have to put 1,750 horsepower. You can put like a diesel in it. You can put some other engines in it, V10s, V12s, whatever. You can play around with it as much as you want. It can probably be a really, really good drift car. But aside from that, that's my verdict. I think it's a definite cop. All the cars are definite cops to me. But this one, it's something else, man. It's so special because it's a limo. You hardly ever see limos in games. And we have one here in Forza Horizon 5. Anyways, that's where I'm going to wrap off today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you are new. Turn on post notifications. I'm trying to make it to 1,100 subscribers by the end of the year. We have about eight more days as of right now that I am recording this video. Like I said at the beginning, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an outstanding day. Catch you guys in the next video.